Ever wondered if rubbing the penis on the vagina could lead to something unexpected? Stick around. Before we dive into that, let's explore some psychological facts and lessons that everyone should know. 7 Ways to Calm Down a Man When He Is Angry and Defensive Anger is a natural human emotion that everyone experiences from time to time, and it's perfectly normal to express it. However, it's essential to recognize the difference between being angry and overreacting. Crossing the line into violence and aggression is never acceptable. It's also crucial to understand and support your partner if he becomes angry and defensive for any reason. To assist you in managing such situations, here are seven ways to help calm down a man when he's angry and defensive. 1. Treat his anger as a call for help. Your husband's or boyfriend's anger might stem from psychological distress, so it's important to offer your support. Ask him if there's anything you can do to help him feel better. By making an effort to understand what's causing his anger, you can help him manage it more effectively. 2. Try to remain calm. It's natural for your temper to flare when your partner is angry, but responding with anger will only increase the tension. Although it may be challenging, try to stay calm and patient. If you feel your temper rising, take a moment to breathe before responding thoughtfully. 3. Make him feel emotionally safe. When your husband is angry, speak to him in a soothing manner and avoid being critical. Make sure to listen carefully and offer emotional support. Keep in mind that men need emotional safety just as much as women do. 4. Practice compassion. Transforming your angry husband's hostile feelings into love and kindness through compassion is the key to finding a solution. Responding to his intense reactions with compassion can foster healing for both of you. 5. Never assume. Never assume you know the cause of your husband's anger. Instead, ask questions to clarify the reason and inquire about his needs and feelings. Share your concerns with him and discuss the changes you observe in his behavior when he's angry. This open communication will benefit both of you. 6. Listen to him actively. Don't simply wait for your turn to speak after he's done. Instead, communicate directly and practice reflective listening. Ensure you acknowledge and reaffirm what your partner shares with you. He won't feel truly connected unless he senses that you understand what he's saying or experiencing. 7. Spot the anger early. Remember, prevention is better than cure. Early intervention on your part can either prevent anger from arising or at least keep it from escalating. The sooner you recognize the signs of anger, the better equipped you'll be to respond and manage the situation before it spirals out of control. Reasons why old-school romantics feel detached from modern love. There's something timeless about old-school love that can never be replaced. Whether it's holding a boombox outside someone's window or exchanging handwritten letters, these gestures evoke the charm of a bygone era. Old-school romantics cherish everything vintage, especially when it comes to love, and they still find joy in traditions like giving love notes. Modern conveniences like texts and video calls don't captivate them the way a gift of freshly picked roses does. As a result, they often feel disconnected from the modern approach to love that others are embracing. Here are some reasons why old-school romantics prefer their classic style over contemporary love. 1. Deep Emotions These individuals experience emotions profoundly and are highly empathetic always willing to stand up for others. They derive immense satisfaction from being physically present for their loved ones rather than relying on texts or calls. They also place a high value on clear, face-to-face -face communication, understanding its significance in expressing their emotions effectively. 2. High Expectations These individuals often have high expectations from their partners, desiring the best while sometimes overlooking their own flaws. 
They seek to grow with someone, but are reluctant to commit to a partner who is vastly different from themselves. This situation is common in modern dating, and they prefer to avoid it. 3. All about purpose in life. They are highly committed to achieving their goals and ambitions, understanding that it requires perseverance and hard work, and they are more than willing to put in the effort. They view love as a goal as well, aiming to invest in and nurture a relationship to ensure its growth. When they love someone, they commit fully and wholeheartedly. 4. Hate vague relationships. Most online dating relationships are centered around hookups and casual interactions that don't guarantee future commitment. Old-school romantics strongly dislike this approach, as they aren't interested in the online dating game of who texts first or sends pictures. Instead, they seek genuine conversations and meaningful relationships. 5. Soulmate Love these individuals appreciate the profound experience of gradually falling in love with someone's personality. They desire the chance to love and support someone through their darkest times. They yearn for a connection that reflects the romantic love they've read about in books. Modern day love doesn't appeal to them, and unless they find their true soulmate, they prefer to remain single. How to bounce back up stronger after a hurtful breakup? Breakups can be incredibly painful, especially when you're ending a relationship with someone you believed you'd spend your life with. It's common to feel down after such an experience. However, it's important to focus on the larger aspects of life and allow yourself the chance to find happiness again. If you're going through a similar situation, here's how to recover and emerge stronger after a painful breakup. 1. Be cool. In the initial months following a breakup, it's common to feel depressed, overthink everything, and explain to others what went wrong. Instead, it might be beneficial to avoid discussing the breakup for a while. Refrain from boring your friends or potential new partners with gossip about your ex, and focus on moving forward. 2. Take some responsibility. Breakups often involve placing blame on the other person for everything that went wrong in the relationship. However, it's more constructive to take responsibility for your own role in the situation. While it might be tempting to blame your ex, doing so can ultimately be detrimental to your well-being. Instead, assume responsibility and adopt a positive mindset, recognizing that the breakup may have been for the right reasons. 3. Don't play the victim card. Experiencing a breakup can feel incredibly helpless and depressing, but don't let it weaken you. It's normal to acknowledge your emotions and seek support from others when you're feeling lonely, but be aware that this can make you more vulnerable over time. Instead, focus on being strong and maintaining a positive outlook, as this will help you embrace the potential for a brighter future as you move on. 4. Work on yourself. One of the biggest mistakes you can make after a breakup is depleting yourself physically, mentally, and emotionally. It's important to allow yourself to grieve, but eventually, you need to pick yourself up. Focus on self-improvement and use this experience as an opportunity to become a better version of yourself. This breakup could be the catalyst for your growth and transformation. Channel these emotions into positive changes. 5. Refocus in your life. Although it may be one of the most challenging tasks after a breakup, it's important to focus on this. Begin by reassessing your priorities in life, acknowledging that your relationship has ended and that your ex is no longer a priority. Redirect your energy towards pursuing your personal goals and spending quality time with loved ones. Consider taking a trip to refresh and rejuvenate your spirit as well. Here are the facts you've been waiting for. Rubbing the pee on the vagina can cause increased emotional bonding, as shown in a study published in the Journal of Research, which found that physical stimulation activates the release of oxytocin and dopamine, enhancing intimacy. If you agree with these points, type yes in the comments and let me know your favorite part of this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell. 
so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.